as the Boilermakers celebrate an old oak and bucket win for the first time since 2012. And the Purdue Boilermakers are going bowling in 2017 as the final seconds take off. 31 to 24, our final score. There are some people out there that think last year was just a fluke, just so you know. So we got to be out to prove people wrong that no, it's not. Okay, we're here to stay, we're here to get better, we're here to compete, and we're here to win a championship. It's going to be important to make sure we start this season the way we finished. What we did last year is we did play hard, and people did talk about it. Wow, this Purdue team plays hard, and they liked it. We want to play football better than anyone else. Let's go! Let's go! That's why camp is vitally important to get better. That is going to make a difference. That's right. Yes! Yes! A fluke. That's what the outsiders think. But for those around Purdue football, 2017 marked a return to prominence for this proud program. The proof is evident. The facility is so new, you can smell it. But one tradition remains, quarterbacks. Purdue being known as the creator of quarterbacks, that's a huge honor and there's a lot of great players that have come through here. Lynn Dawson, Bob Greasy, Drew Brees. A lot of tremendous quarterbacks that not only played well here, but they played well at the next level, which meant they were very talented. Me being a former quarterback, uh, I take some pride in it. And when I took the job here, that was very enticing. You know what, let's try to get this back as much as we can. We want to keep that tradition going. And I think the, the two guys we have right now, they embody what a Purdue quarterback's supposed to be. We're going to have a competition. We're going to let it play out. You know, as we get about a week and a half before the first game, we're going to have to internally declare a starter. The old adage says, if you have two quarterbacks, you don't have any. But don't tell that to Purdue head coach Jeff Brown. Fifth-year senior David Blau and junior Elijah Sindelar both return, eager to earn the starting nod, yet immune to any controversy. These slant boards are movable, Eli, okay? True colors are showing, David. Yeah. <laughs> Every quarterback wants to be the sole guy. I mean, if you have a quarterback that says, no, I want to play in a two-quarterback system, do you really want him to be your quarterback? I mean, you want someone to lead the team. You want someone to command the offense. Coach Fromm, he's going to let us compete. There's no decisions that have been made already. We should know, leading into that first game, uh, what their decision will be. Step, going back. Step, 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 step. Go quick, now it's 10 seconds, come on, work. I think the way that they're going to evaluate during camp of who's going to be the guy is completion percentage and, and being able to make the right read, know when to throw it downfield, know when to check it down. Good. Good. And if somebody separates themselves, I'm sure they're going to go with that guy. And Coach Brahms let it be known that he's not opposed to playing two guys. There you go, throw that right hip, right hip. Last year, they went ahead and uh, let Elijah start the first game, and then I came in in the second quarter, and then they rode the hot hand, and they did that for four or five weeks. That changed in November when Blau broke his ankle against Illinois. Blau is down. Now Sindelar's in for Blau. Third and short. Sindelar keeping, rolling, now throwing, end zone, caught, touchdown Hopkins, touchdown Purdue. You know, getting carted off the field, yeah, I had a pretty cool view of seeing that touchdown from the end zone camera. Whether he's on the field or I'm on the field, I'm going to support him and I know he's got my back. We love one another. I care about Elijah the man. While football is important and I am uh, David Blau, quarterback, Purdue University, first, 
I'm David Blau, Christian. We trust in God's process. Like, God has a plan for this. He understands what he's doing. Like, and even though if I could write my own script, I would write it differently. A week later, with Blau sidelined, Sindelar tore his ACL against Northwestern. My first question was, can I play? And the doctor, he's like, I can't give you that answer. And I said, I know you can't from a professional standpoint, but I'm actually asking your opinion. And ultimately, with what he said and, and with praying and asking my parents, we decided to try it. And I have to thank God for that because he really protected me through the rest of the season and allowed me to play those last three and a half games with the torn ACL. I know 4-5 to this. We're not a Cadillac on her. Of course, I want to be the starting quarterback. I have my whole life and I've worked hard for it. And I'm going to continue to work hard for it. And I know Elijah's going to do the same. You need to sweat. We kind of feed off each other. Whether or not he plays or I play, as long as Purdue wins, we're both winning. We're on the same team at the end of the day. In many ways, the Purdue coaching staff has the appearance of the Brom family business. Jeff Brom employs his younger brother Brian as co-offensive coordinator and his older brother Greg as the director of operations. Today, the family business and its trustees holds its first board meeting to kick off the 2018 season. Practice number one is 24 hours away. This will be the longest meeting of the year, so let's just make sure we're paying attention. All right, it has been a good summer. You guys have worked hard. There have been great gains. It's going to be important to make sure we start the season the way we finished. We cannot ease into it. We will get beat. And the first game will be a, a great challenge because that team kicked our tail last year. Fortunately for us, you guys did a great job of finishing the year. There are some people out there that think last year was just a fluke, just so you know. All right, Purdue can't win. That was a fluke. So we got to be out to prove people wrong that no, it's not. Yeah, we got the second toughest schedule in the country, and that's tremendous. It's up to us. We have the number one schedule. And know this, when we take the field, regardless of who we play, we go for the win. All right, we're going to play to win. We're going to go for the win. And sometimes it's going to work. Sometimes it's not. But we are going to go for the win. We want to play with swagger and toughness. You guys who know us, we play with swagger here, so I don't care what your personality is. Whatever you got to do to win, that's what we do. So if you don't talk a lot, that's fine. If you talk a lot, that's fine too. Just make sure you don't get us penalties and respect the game. You got to find a way to be hungry. So what that really means is you can't allow yourself to go through the motions. You got to compete every day. You got to do all the necessary things right. You got to put a smile on your face, and you got to compete to win. When that alarm clock rings tomorrow at, uh, at 5.45, 6, uh, 6 a.m., um, I was going to be go time. You know, it's, it's time to flip the switch. Starting the grind, fall camp. So college football players all around the country know about, know about the grind. Um, so it's just part of it. You got to love it. You got to enjoy it. You got to soak it in. Just like Coach Brom said, try to win the day every day. And it uh, starts right now with uh, 6 a.m. breakfast and meetings. I'm supposed to be this big leader, and, you know, Coach Brom went on record saying that I was the best player on the team. So that definitely puts a lot of pressure on me. But that's something I'm going to have to learn to manage. Here we go. With practice number one on the horizon, the centerpieces of the Purdue offense meet to formulate their plan. One's message geared toward precision. The other, swagger. Yeah! We're looking to throw it to the outside. If you did get covered two, you got two on one ball down to your hook route. Finish! That's what you're going to hear from me right away. Finish! I don't want to see you turn around like you going on a leisurely stroll through the park, chilling with your homegirl back at the crib. Throw it over his head, touchdown. You get time. It's a little jittery. He still makes a nice completion. We get a first down. No, don't, don't think you you set or you locked in or you got a spot. No, nobody got no spot. You want to be on that field when we get up against Northwestern? All right, you better pay the piper today. Okay, the price of admission has increased. Okay, so you're gonna start building up dollars, building up dollars, building up dollars over the course of this camp to say, hey, coach, can I go in the game? All right, if you ain't built up enough dollars, guess what? You can't go in the game. It's uh, 7:46, so let you guys out. One of Purdue's top-rated recruits, 
speedy freshman wide receiver Rondale Moore from Louisville is hoping to make a lasting first impression. Hey, look, man, when you get out there today, man, have fun, man, okay? All right, you love playing the game as much as anybody else, so make sure you have fun, man. Don't, don't, don't put too much pressure on yourself. Just go play ball, all right? Sure. All right, let's go, baby. Hey, this is the biggest character on the team right here, DJ Knox. He looked like a, a mini Kimbo Slice. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Tell them what you look like. Yogi the Bear, baby. Uh-huh, you feel me? <laughs> Y'all gonna come with this shirt on with a goldfish shirt? What are you talking about? How old is he? I got, I got spunk. <laughs> I got character. Yeah. Yeah. Special teams at 115, position 135. Pre-practice is 215. We'll go out on the uh, grass field, and then uh, we'll keep the young guys out after. Okay, so we're in helmets. Make sure we're working them, but let's not uh, crush them individual uh, the first day. Uh, so work them, but be smart with it. Uh, let's make sure we're staying off the ground. I'm about to go in beast mode. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm flyer than an ego. Yeah, yeah. Higher than the Falcon, that's where we go. Yeah, yeah. I win so much, they thought I got the cheat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's get after these boys. <laughs> yeah, we out here. We out here. It's here. It's here. It's here. Let's go. It starts today. Yeah, Ready? Begin. I don't have no time to be wasting time. Get up, Let's go. Fast feet, fast feet, fast feet. Eyes up, eyes up. Yeah, you see the grain. Good, yeah. nice catch. Shine. Good job. That's yeah, a good job. Climb to the top of the mountain top. where I gotta be. I don't care about you if you hating on me. If you wanna play, if you wanna go, 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 go get the ball out, get the ball out, get the ball out, get the ball out. Oh, there you go, finish, finish, finish. I'm about to go in beast mode. Oh yeah, I'm flyer than an ego. Higher than the Falcon, that's where we go. One, two, good, nice. Good, good, good. The early returns on the quarterback battle are mixed as David Blau and Elijah Sindelar struggle to find rhythm with the receivers. Keep coming, keep coming out here, keep coming out here. Uh, oh. All right, guys, we better, we better be able to run the ball. Jeez Louise. Hope our running backs are healthy. No one on this team can catch a deep ball. We haven't caught one all day long. Stop coming inside. I'm tired of it already. We're throwing the ball to the outside shoulder. Don't throw it so far on the back shoulder. Just put it on his helmet. He'll adjust to it. You guys got to focus, okay? All right, remember what I talked about, all right? When we talk about, for the moment, all discipline. What's discipline, okay? Being able to do things over and over and over and over and over and over again. Same smooth catch, boom. See it all the way to the tuck, boom. That's discipline. Guess what? The moment you take your eyes off of that, that shows that you're not a disciplined player. As the afternoon wears on, signs of progress emerge. There you go, good. Good, go get it. Mo, 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 mo. Great job, Rondell. You got to know who you're going against. Hey, man, you want to let the damn dude that's known for speed run like that? That's what we're doing now? Hey, note to self, he is the fastest dude on the team. So, hey, I don't know what his 40 is, but he the fastest guy we got on the team. Right there, don't get too wide. Hey, watch this one, too. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, God, touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. Oh, my God. You all got me up, oh, boy. Just awesome. That's what, man, I'm just tired of it. Just awesome. All right, good job today for the first day. Came out, thought we competed. We worked to get better. By no means was it perfect or anywhere close, but guys did come out and do a good job. Now, understand this. We got one practice a day, three days in a row, and then a break. Don't take a wasted day. You waste a day, someone else is getting ahead of you. Now, I know the pads aren't on, but we got to find a way to be physical because when the pads get on, defense has to dominate the line of scrimmage and offense has to find a way to win it. And then we've got to make deep ball catches. We finally made a few at the end, and on defense, you can't give up any deep balls. You keep it in front of you, you rally, you make tackles, you strip the ball out. 
quick recall is going to be important. So you may know it a little bit, but you got to be able to quick recall it, play it fast, react, and find a way to win it. Family on three, family on me. One, two, three. Family. family. Oh. He's gone. We different, man. Where's the quarterback? Practice one is over. All right, we're going to go this way. Come on. The first stone of a mosaic that will take a month to complete. Stay on top of the ball. Stay on top of the ball with your hand on it. While freshmen remain for extra instruction, upperclassmen take a moment to cool down. Fifteen hours after the team arrived, day one methodically grinds to a close. He's going wide. He's got to show. If he slants into you, where's he got to go? Ready. The rough edges are sanded and the dull spots polished. The first full day in pads awaits. Day six of camp is like Christmas morning in West Lafayette as players anticipate unwrapping their pads to begin the process of proving their doubters wrong. You get the rock. You get the hitting. You see what a real man at. Most people don't like contact like that. Me? I battle scars, baby. You feel what I'm saying? Because I'm always in there. I'm, I'm getting that contact. Call him heel. Call him heel. <laughs> like Coach Brom said, we're obviously going to have doubters. Our defense is young. We're inexperienced. Our wideouts can't catch a ball. We don't know who's going to be our starting quarterback. You know, they say a bunch of things like that, and we really don't care. The anticipation is palpable for today's marquee event, simply known as the board drill. Board drill is basically you got your, uh, so for, for my position, cornerbacks, we'll line up against the receiver, and we'll just basically, you know, collide into each other. And whoever wins that collision is the winner of that drill. If I come in, okay, and I get right here, oh, okay. like they teach us okay, to the man's chest right here, and they say, drive, drive, okay, I'm taking it to the top, okay. <laughs> People who are not ready to bring it, they, they don't need to come out there. People who are ready to bring it, they just got to, just got to bring everything, because I'm bringing everything. I'm going to have to step in to be more of that vocal leader, especially how young we are with the D-line and linebackers. Maybe in the past I haven't wanted to say something because it wasn't my, my spot or my place, but it is my place this year. All right, hurry up. Let's go, man. Hey, we need some more interceptions. Was that a novelty for you? Let's go. We got to be faster in this defense, down linemen. Jalen, you have got to get better with your hat and hands and your block protection. You got it. She can't be a starter. You got to snap that stuff off and shed. You got that? All right, make sure we keep our head up on the board drills. I don't want anyone getting injured like we talked about with the snake. When he's here, he's always locked in on his target. All right, and when he throws, he doesn't duck his head because you might move. All right, he keeps his eyes locked on his target, so he might need to adjust as you adjust. Oh, I might poke in your ass. All right, there's already people saying that some people will be baptized today. Okay? In a negative way, though. So, don't let that be you. Or you, or you. All right, here we go. So, we got uh, full pads day one. After that, we're going right to board. So, make sure they're loose and ready to go at the skill positions. I don't want to uh, start, start to see them who can get lower and duck their head, pull them out. I'm not interested in that. Just block them normally. And then don't wait too long before you blow it up. I'm not interested in people throwing somebody to the ground. Hey, you said you what today? I don't want you first. What you eating? Back. What board you what want? You what you What board you want? Hey, 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 don't talk trash. Hey. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Hey, right here. Hey, you're right first. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Yeah! 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 
go. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. The board drill is an exercise in intensity to kick off practice. The expectation is for that intensity to be sustained. Here we go. Hey, one. One D. One D, one D, one D. Let's go. We need a turnover now. Let's go. Good. Good ball. My ball. Good play, four. Good job, bro. Good job. Nice there you go. Nice Good rip. Good rip. Good rip. It's going to hit you in your jewels because you're too hot. All right, when you go through the blaster, it's here. That's what you do. I ain't got no pads on. Go through the blast with some pad level. I don't need pads. Come on, son. Get it right. Bend your knees. Here we go. Son. Hey, Marcus. From now on, you get them all together because I don't like the way they walk on the field. Hey. Hey, Lawrence, come here, come here, come here, come here. Hey, come on, hey. Hey, finish this practice out. Throw them on three. One, two, three. Four. Hey, it's man. Keep running. Good. Good ball. Got to win on that. No! 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 Where's the ball? Where's the ball? Let's scoot up a yard on the ball. No, not inside. Up on the ball. You're technically you got you got D gap because that dude got C gap. If it goes that way, but like, let's go hit somebody, bro. <laughs> Don't be pulling that. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, come on, Jeff. Hey. hey. Come on, come on, hey, I, I'm good. Come on, hey, hey. Get out, take a knee, take a knee. What the hell are we waiting so long for? You guys have been playing slow all day. All right, just so you understand, first day in pads, it's a lackluster effort. There's no intensity, there's no toughness, no one hustles around. Okay, so if you take the field the first game, you play like that, it'll be a long night. A very long night and very disappointing to every black and gold fan that has been cheering for you all along. Here we go. Uh, coach gets a little intense. Okay? So, so yeah, take the coaching, take what he's saying, not listen to the tone of it. Just take what he's saying and, and, and learn from what he's trying to tell you. I thought you two did a great job today, man. Great job adjusting. All right? I'm good with this right here, but we just got to figure out what we're going to do. We got to figure out what we're going to be because this group right now is an amoeba. One day it looks good, the next day we look awful. One day we look okay, the next day we, we just drop the ball all the time. So we gotta figure out what the hell we gonna be. This is gonna be the walk off of the sunset yeah. view. At the, at the end of the episode, they're gonna have us walk off. You gotta put your hand up like this. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Week one of training camp is in the books. Lessons have been taught, and lessons have been learned. Three weeks remain to get stronger. Three weeks left to improve. Three weeks until Northwestern. On the next Gold and Black Days. If you're walking around and you have an intense burning desire to want to get from A to B and no one is going to stop you and someone comes and just slightly bumps on you, you're going to push them out of the way. And no one's going to knock you down. That has to be the mindset, okay, when you step on the field at every position. No one gets knocked back and no one gets knocked on the ground. And if someone accidentally touches you, they better be careful because they may go flying in the stands.
I'm from Campbell River, British Columbia, where I spend my summers fishing with my dad on his commercial fishing boat. It's hard work, but it's a way of life for us. I also grew up playing lacrosse. Well, box lacrosse, that is, and there is a difference. It's played in hockey arenas with no ice, and the goals are smaller. We play with helmets and pads, and it's full contact. And I also played with all boys. I learned to hold my own, because the boys never wanted to lose to a girl.